I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand behavior near the asymptote of a rational function. It is a very important characteristic which helps us to quickly sketch the current graph for a rational function. Here is an example y equals to minus 1 divided by x square minus 4. We need to describe behavior near the asymptote and then sketch the following rational function which is y equals to minus 1 over x square minus 4. Now we'll have vertical asymptotes where the denominator is 0. So that means vertical asymptote is when x square minus 4 equals to 0 that means x square equals to 4 or x is equals to plus minus square root of 4 that is plus minus 2. So there are two vertical asymptotes one at plus 2 the other one is at minus 2. So let me sketch these vertical asymptotes first. So this one is at minus 2 and then we have one here at plus 2. Now it is a reciprocal function, so we know horizontal asymptote is y-axis, correct? So this is the vertical asymptote, and now let me also write down horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is when x approaches large positive value, then if denominator is very large, then something divided by a large number will yield a smaller number, so it's a small number, correct? Now, and we'll see that behavior also near the asymptote x approaches negative infinity, y approaches again 0, right? So that means we are approaching for a large value, we are approaching horizontal axis, right? Now the question is, this 0 which we are approaching, are we approaching from positive side or from negative side? How to find that? That is kind of very critical, right? So let's begin with horizontal asymptote. If I substitute a large positive value here, then what do I get? Let's say if I substitute 100. As compared to 4, 100 is a large number. 100 times is good enough. So we'll get a large number here, minus 4, which is negligible. So it basically becomes minus divided by a positive large number. That means a negative number, right? So when I am substituting 1000, or 100 a positive large value then the value is actually negative so let me write down here 0 negative so when I am approaching a large number then I am actually approaching from the negative side so that is the behavior near the horizontal asymptote now let me substitute let us say minus 1000 or minus 100 minus 100 square will be positive so ultimately we'll again get negative answer so we are approaching again from the negative side do you see that so both side we are approaching zero from the negative side so that is the behavior near the asymptote how did we find it so how did we find it? what we did was we substituted a large value for x first positive then negative so when we substitute positive we can use calculator so let me write here first so y equals to minus 1 over, let us say, 100 square minus 4, correct? Okay? So what do I get? I will get minus 1 divided by, within brackets, 100 square minus 4, bracket close, equals to minus 1 over 996. Do you see? We got a negative value. So let me just write a negative value. Very low but negative. That's why I'm saying approaching from negative side but zero. Similarly, if you substitute minus 1 over minus 100 square minus 4, again you get a negative value because minus or plus when you square it becomes positive. So this is very typical. You are approaching from the negative side. Normally 1 over x you see the opposite ends, right? So that's the reason of taking this example also. It really helps you to appreciate the concept. Now, let us understand the behavior near vertical asymptote. Now, we have two vertical asymptotes. So what we should do is, 
we can calculate the value again right so we will calculate the value for let us say minus 2 close to minus 2 so what we will do is we'll write x equals to let us say minus 2.1 in our equation right then what is y so if I replace x with minus 2.1 I get minus 1 divided by so I'll put two brackets one for square so minus 2.1 bracket close square minus 4 bracket close equals to minus 100 over 41 right but minus 100 over 41 means a negative value which is large right so if you convert to decimals it becomes minus 2 point something in this case so it is large you know approaching large but it is negative so we are approaching negative so that is the way we are approaching correct if I substitute a value which is slightly less than minus 2.1 so let us say so we get negative large value right so let me write negative infinity okay I shouldn't say negative but but you know if I put minus 1.9 here then what happens so in this equation so I have minus 1 divided by two brackets one for minus 1.9 bracket close square minus 4 bracket close equals to that gives me a positive value positive 100 so so if I am on the right side of this asymptote I get a positive value so let me write positive here so that is the behavior near the vertical asymptote which is x equals to minus 2 right so that is the behavior now let us analyze the behavior near the other asymptote this one correct so at this for this we'll substitute very close values let us say 1.9 positive and 2.1 and calculate again right so what you notice is minus 1 divided by two brackets okay 1.9 within bracket square minus 4 bracket close equals to positive value right so here for minus 1.9 we get a positive value and if I substitute 2.1 you can also see from here 2.1 square is more than 4 so denominator is positive but numerator is negative right so here I get negative value here I get positive right so negative means we are approaching to this side do you understand so that is how my graph is going to be so that is the behavior near the asymptote right we could also write this as when x approaches for this behavior which is near vertical asymptote at minus 2 minus 2 from the negative side minus 2 that means from this side y approaches infinity negative infinity right when x approaches minus 2 from positive side that means from the right side y approaches positive infinity so that is behavior near the vert vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2 right this is at x equals to minus 2 vertical asymptote now for the behavior near vertical asymptote at 2 we'll check the values from left side it is 1.9 we saw y approaches positive value so what's is positive infinity when x approaches from the right side the vertical asymptote at 2 y approaches a negative value so that is that is how we find the behavior near the vertical asymptote right now from the symmetry we can always find uh, y intercept and x intercepts and do the needful right there are no x intercepts here we know horizontal asymptote is the x axis but y intercept is when x is zero right so let's calculate y intercept few more points to sketch the graph itself right so we'll write down y intercept that is the value of the function at x equals to 0 that is y equals to minus 1 over 0 square minus 4 which is 1 over 4 it's positive right let us say this is 1 over 4 in that case we can sketch a graph kind of like this right of course we need some more values but that is the characteristics of our graph right 
on this side if you take a value few values you'll get a graph like 1 over x but the end behavior really helps you to sketch it correctly do you see that so from this end behavior you could have connected but to get some good values you should calculate few for example here we found y intercept to be 1 over 4 right that's a good point to use and of course you can select few points and get more accurate graph but in any case by knowing the end behavior you could have connected and sketched your graph so that is how you can sketch this function using end behavior i hope you understand and appreciate how to find behavior of a function near its asymptotes okay so from if we are trying to find behavior near the horizontal asymptotes that is the end behavior right so this one is also referred to as end behavior since the horizontal asymptotes we are checking when x is approaching positive or negative infinity correct the other behavior near the asymptote is behavior near vertical asymptotes so you have to check from both sides whether you are approaching positive infinity positive infinity or negative in infinity once you know that it's kind of easy to accurately graph your function i hope that's clear thank you and all the best